This is me, Luke, a 23 year old software engineer and a content creator based in Helsinki, Finland. And one of the most asked questions on the channel lately has been Luke, how are you able to do your 9 to 5, create content and take care of your fitness all at the same time? And in this video I'm gonna go through the things that have had the biggest impact on my productivity. But first, let me get to the gym and get a good workout in. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is the importance of working out. And I don't even mean it in a sense that it increases your cognitive functions. Like, that's great and all, but there's even a bigger benefit that comes with fitness. It's the fact that it teaches you that it's possible. You know, it's hard to keep working on something when you're not seeing the results right away. Take for example your coding journey or making content. At first you're going to suck, but if you keep putting the reps then you'll slowly start seeing results. And working out was the first time I truly understood this concept and now I can just apply it to everything. So now when I'm working on my YouTube, it's easy for me to stay focused because I know that if I keep putting in the work, then I'll start seeing results. Sometimes you just need to have some faith that what you're doing will actually yield results and not in teaches that better than seeing your body change over time. Also, the fact that you push yourself to doing something that's hard, even when you don't want to do it, is key when you're facing challenges that feel overwhelming, because you know you've overcome bigger challenges in the past. And I promise you, if you start doing this, you'll start finding your work easier as well. Then let's talk about some of the development specific tools I use to help me with my productivity. And this is one of those rabbit holes that you can easily get lost into when trying to decide which tools are the best since there are just so many different ones out there. But these are just ones that I find the most useful for me personally and I'll make a whole separate video for my full MacBook setup so don't worry I'll go even more in depth in that video. But I use VS Code as my code editor and inside VS Code I have installed Vim keybinds so I can just jump around and edit files faster. And at first it was hella confusing and took me a long time to get used to. And even now I wouldn't say that I'm a Vim master, but it definitely speeds me up when I'm writing code. I'd say that in general it's good to learn the shortcuts for whatever apps you're using. So for example for my editing software DaVinci Resolve, I've learned many shortcuts for things that I use often. And the 1 to 2 seconds you save when you use a shortcut instead of manually clicking on something may seem like a small amount of time, but over multiple months or even years it definitely stacks up. Also in VS Code I use GitHub Copilot which my company provides a subscription for so it would be pretty stupid of me not to take advantage of that. Overall I find it's really good with writing out tests and smaller things like that but it lacks a lot of context from the code base. So for example it just doesn't know how to import things from different files because it just doesn't know where those things are actually located at. So it's just guessing. And I don't know if my company has some setting enabled that's blocking it from accessing the whole code base but that's just one annoying thing about it. And of course I use ChatGPT as well whenever I need to go dig deep for an answer. And overall I feel like these AI tools are a really nice plus, but for someone just learning to code I wouldn't recommend using them too much. You know they spit out wrong answers very confidently, so if you don't know what you're doing and you blindly trust these AI tools, then you'll just end up slowing down your own progress. But for anyone who's already working as a software engineer, I'd say that having these tools in your arsenal should be a no-brainer.
There is a life I lead in this city. Next, let's talk about diet. You know, I used to think that just because something had zero calories in it, it would be fine for me to eat it. But those zero calorie drinks and foods are often way worse for your health than the regular ones, given that they have so many artificial sweeteners, etc. in them. Now when it comes to my diet, I don't really track my calories, but somehow I'm way leaner and feel much better than I used to. Now the reason I mentioned this in a productivity video is because brain fog is a real thing that I've personally experienced, and it's going to hold you back from operating at your highest level. And as you know, I don't eat any carbs before lunch, and that's when I feel the best and my mind is the clearest. I just drink a protein shake after the gym and get to work. And is my diet perfect? <laughs> Definitely not. You know, on Thursdays our team meets up in the office, so I'm just going out to eat with the rest of the team. But other than that, I just try to eat normal food that's high in protein and doesn't include any weird sauces and stuff. And whenever I'm craving something different, I just try to go for something like a pokeball and just leave out the crazy mayo and all the sauces and stuff. So it's just literally gonna be fish, vegetables and rice, which is quite good for you actually. So I'd say I'm dialed in like 80 to 85% of the time. And all I can say is that my brain feels so much clearer compared to me a year ago. And overall, I'm just a happier person in general. And with your diet, you're gonna get a lot of other benefits as well. Like when I look into the mirror and I see my jaw from the front, it just feels so nice. Also something that kind of goes hand in hand with your diet is party. And look, can you become successful while partying and drinking a lot of alcohol? Mm, sure but you would make the journey 10 times easier for yourself if you just cut it out. And it doesn't seem like going out drinking once a week is a big deal, but that's at least two days of the week where you're operating at a low level. And if you say that you don't get hungover, your sleep is still garbage after you drink alcohol, so let's not even try to make any excuses here. We'll be together, take me back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. Now, next up, let's talk about time management. And you know, in life, you don't always control the output you get from doing something, but you do control the effort that you put in, which is why your time management should be on point so that you can get the most out of your days. I'm gonna be honest with you, throughout the years, my time management has been horrendous. And I never used to have a clear structure for my days and that just led me to doing a whole bunch of nothing and wasting all of my time. But recently, I've been using this app called Akiflow, which is an all-in-one platform for managing your time and planning out your days. And something that's been quite hard for me to do is staying on top of all of my tasks in all the different applications I'm using for my work, which is where Akiflow comes in handy. And it has genuinely changed the way I structure my day-to-day -day life. Now, you can integrate Akiflow with pretty much any other productivity app you may be using, whether that's Gmail, Slack, Notion, GitHub, and so on. And with these integrations, you can bring different tasks from those different applications into Akiflow, which makes managing your tasks and planning out your days really easy. And for me, as a content creator, I always get so many emails from different brands wanting to collaborate, and it's super hard for me to remember to respond to each one of them. But with Akiflow's Gmail integration, I can just star any of these emails I find interesting. And by me doing this, it creates a task in my Akiflow board so that I don't forget about it. Also, another standout feature of Akiflow is time blocking, which is really useful for anyone who has a lot of meetings and values their time outside of those meetings. And this is especially important for anyone working as a software engineer, since we're constantly being pulled into meetings, which may not be even relevant to us. And at the end of the day, our main job is to build cool stuff. Now here on the left, you can see all the tasks that Akiflow has imported from the other applications that I'm using. And during my Monday's coding work block, I know I'll be working on some end-to-end -end tests for one of our applications, so I can just drag and drop that task into that time block slot on my calendar. And this just makes it super easy for me to keep track of everything I need to do every single day. Of course, you can create custom tasks as well by clicking this add new task button or using the command bar, which is pretty neat. And now I can just type out the name of the task. And now when I press enter, you can see that the task has been created on my calendar for tomorrow and I can easily check all my to-dos for the day. 
And planning out my days has been super helpful because there's just less decisions I have to make each day and I can just focus on the stuff that's actually important for me. Also, I know many of you are computer science students, so the people at Alkiflow have been kind enough to give students a 60% discount on their platform by using the code 60 students one year or by just selecting student after signing up. And if you have any extra questions about Alkiflow, they also offer a one on one coaching call for completely free. So definitely take advantage of that. Make sure to check out Alkiflow with my link in the description and also big shout out to Alkiflow for supporting the channel and sponsoring the video. There is a life I lead in this city Hurry and cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by Doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves so cool. Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Do you feel me like I am home Back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. Wait, hold on. Put me together. Take me back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. Take